challenge, you know. You didn't want to commit with me. You was running, you know that. Everybody this is the state of boxing. Every time you like, commit, you're not here. You didn't want to fight. You me. That's much I was touching. Boxing, What's you know? wrong with your nose? What's that's, wrong with your that's lip? The, in the first round, What's wrong with your head, stomach? Man. I was hitting with, you every with, time. With the head, man. We was hitting you, you was running head. every time. One knockdown is not Yo, deducted. You was One running the whole time. This is not how you entertain, bro. I was running the whole time. I only win Every time you committed, I counted and I hit you. Every time you committed, I counted and I hit you. That's why you was running. I punched you every time. This was a boring ass fight. I can't believe it. It's, it's the same. I can't it's, believe it. Yo, not, you guys got to give me a better dance that's partner. This guy was dead. Yo, he was running. Know, that's your show, but all the world. Yo, the last 10 seconds of the 10th round, what were you the, doing? All the, all the you you was dancing don't and worry. running. Dame, dame un segundo y ahorita vamos a platicar contigo. Tio Fimo Lopez. Yo. It's Heisman night at Madison Yo, Square Garden. It's supposed to be a celebration, My and man. we got a little bit of controversy. What did you think about your performance tonight? Yo, it's so hard to fight. It's so hard to fight somebody like this when they running the whole time. Every time this guy committed, I counted and I got him every time. He just running the whole time, every time. It's okay though. Look, we got a lot to work on. But first off, I do. I want to thank. God. I want to thank God for this, for real. No matter what it was, I apologize to everybody tonight. This is not how we perform to anybody. But listen, our dance partner was running the whole time. When you think about that knockdown in that second round. You kept getting caught with that right hand. What happened? Nah, it wasn't the right hand. He saw Paul, so it was the left hand. You feel me? But it wasn't that I was getting caught with it. He was just pushing me down. Well, but he did clip you with that right hand when you were coming in. It was a check right hook. You guys are going to talk about one thing, but the whole thing, the, every time that this man wanted to commit, I was countering and tagging him. That's why he was running the whole time. One judge saw it a draw, and the other one saw it close, and one guy saw it very clear for you. In terms of what you did right. How happy are you? You talked about your legs last time out in your 140 pound debut. How did you feel physically? No, you know, I felt great overall. Look, I know he was tired. He didn't want to commit. He was just staying off his back foot and just running around the whole time. Listen, but it is what it is. This makes it look good. These guys are going to want to fight me now more than ever. And this is great. Now I can actually have a good fight. <laughs> your father was asking you to throw combinations to you and, and you were throwing one shot at a time. What was that all about? Listen, every time I was committing, the guy was just going double back, triple back. So the whole thing now we just got to work on is just shifting more. But you knew he wasn't going to be a cooperative, you know, dance partner from the time you signed. I mean, you saw the Mikey Garcia fight. You saw his style as a southpaw. Actually, with the Mikey what Garcia the fight, I, of course. Listen, listen, and no matter what it is, man, we're looking forward to facing the world champions. That's what really matters. I know that's what the fans want. Listen, I'm all about pleasing the fans. I'm all about giving them what they need, and that's a show. You talked about 140, and there's a lot of big names. This is a loaded division. So your son is right here also wearing a Kyler Murray jersey ringside. You're going to, I mean, I'm sorry, Caleb Williams. They can't, they can't bring the baby up, or they are going to bring the baby up. But what does it mean to have your son ringside once again, Tio? Oh, no, it means everything. Everything I do is for my baby. You know, uh, we're all about growth, and we're all about taking care of our kids, man. Listen, um, you know, Everything, my life has changed ever since that kid's been born. You know, I'm with my wife. We've been together. We've been working on things better. And that's what really matters, you know? Listen, I can't have my kid. Come on, guys. It's ridiculous. But anywho, uh, I just want to thank everybody. I want to thank my sponsors, Rain, Body, Few. I want to thank Bud Light. Thank you guys for the love and support. I would like to thank Essentia. And definitely, uh, most importantly, I just want to thank God and everybody around. It's a wide open division right now, Teo. You're going to grab your baby. Caleb Williams, Jersey, father and son. Um, the names at 140 pounds. Who, how do you see yourself getting an opportunity at a world title next? Huh? Who do you see yourself fighting to get that opportunity at a world title next? Uh, we would love to fight Josh Taylor. We would love to fight Regis Progress. We would love to fight uh, Albert, Alberto Pujols, I believe, at 140, or even a rematch with George Cambosis. So the, the rematch would be in play with George Cambosis. You still have that within you to get that revenge. No, yeah, absolutely. Listen, man, uh, my whole thing now is just staying focused, staying devoted. Look, I'm going to be uh, promoting for two more weeks. I can't wait to just uh, be back in the ball game, man, just be back here and just keep putting on the show. I need it more than ever now. Look forward to seeing you soon. Joe, guys, we send it to you.